Welcome. I'll be making a portrait of Felix in Adobe Illustrator. I am Youngbo. <laughs> this is the picture I'll be making a portrait of. Let's get it! First I'm setting up the picture and then starting on his hair. At the edges, like more on the left of the picture, it's more faded because it's blurry in the background. And I'm excited to see if that's in the final project because you can't really add blur with vectors. So we'll see how that goes. His hair is pretty soft and so the lighting is not very shiny, but there are still light shadows. In the vector, you can't see as much individual strands, it's more just chunks of hair, and so that would take forever to do each individual strand, and I don't want to do that. Usually you'd think shadows are black, but they're honestly more like pink and brown in this picture, so there won't- I don't know if we use black just pure black at all in this portrait, or any portrait honestly, unless they have black in their eyes or something, but even that's not even really pitch black. the shine on the lips it would not look very realistic so if you're making one of these yourself remember to add shine there's even shine like in the corners of their mouth it's everywhere so Pretty much wherever you see white, it's very important to get the right color and make sure you include it. The bottom lip is much more detailed than the top lip, so the top lip went by pretty fast. Now onto the eyes, adding the little twinkle, pupils, and iris. A little twinkle in the eye just makes it look so much more realistic. Just remember to add highlights, it's very, very important. I've already said that, but it doesn't hurt to remind you. Around the eye, just add all the colors. And also another color trick is that when you're doing the white part of the eye, I don't know what it's called, but it's never really just pure white. It's usually like gray or yellow. Around the eye is a lot of like grayish pink and peach and darker colors than the rest of the face. It's very important to match the details on the eye because the eye is the main thing that you recognize in the face and it's like a main characteristic so if you make it look different then the person might be harder to recognize. But eyes are still the funnest part to make in my opinion and I think they look the coolest and are the most fun to watch. Now onto the nose, oh no, the freckles. Okay, we're doing the freckles. When I first saw this picture, I was like, okay, that's a decent amount. But when I was actually making it, it just felt like I was drawing freckles forever. And it just went on and on. So he has a lot of freckles. And those are important to include in the portrait because they're a main characteristic of him. Now that I'm done with that, I can work on the nose. Noses are the hardest part to get accurate of making like the nose shape to match the picture, but as long as you just follow the main colors in the picture, you should be good. Yeah, 
If you just copy the picture, it'll look like the picture. There are some parts on the nose and cheek where I hadn't drawn freckles but there's still like slightly darker parts on his skin that are almost freckles but not quite. So if you see any like darker spots then they're like a light colored freckle I guess. Now for the ear, which is also blurry like the rest of the left side of the picture. And you know when you squint and you look at a light and it just looks like circles? That's kind of what was going on with his earrings. When you look at them from blurriness, they're just the circle of whatever lighting color they are. Now onto the plants, which kind of just look like white and green blobs, but I hope you can still tell that they're flowers or whatever they are. You can tell that they're not his face. That's, that's the important part. I'm not really sure what the dark brown parts under them are, but I just included them because they're in the picture. Now onto his face skin. I start around the eyes and then work around them from there and just fill in the whole face as it goes. If there's a K-pop idol that you want me to make a portrait of, please comment down below and I'll probably see it because I only get like one or two comments on each video and I might just make that person unless I don't want to, but if I do, I'll make them. It could even be a K-drama actor or a singer or something. Whoever you want to do, just comment down below. We're almost done with the skin, and something that I noticed was that it was kind of hard to make the skin not look like he had a beard, or like a light shaved beard, but I think I did okay with making it not look like that. Now we're done, so we'll save the project and finish up. Bye, see you in the next video.